Introduction to Vectors. So let's talk about scalars and vectors, right? Scalars are things which have only magnitude and not direction. Whereas vectors have both magnitude and direction, right? So that is what we learned in the last video. Here is a question for you. So we have given you some quantities and we want to know whether these quantities are scalar or vector, right? So, you know, if it is a scalar quantity, you don't need a direction. That's why it does not have, right? For example, if you want to measure the length of something, right, it is always positive, you know, and we don't have to give any direction to it. But if you're talking about velocity, in which direction the movement is, or displacement, in which direction the displacement is, is kind of important. So those are vectors. And where direction has no meaning, these are scalars, right? So here we have list of items. I should say the quantities. And you need to specify which are scalars and which are vectors. So question before us is classify each quantity as a vector or scalar. So we have mass, weight, displacement, distance, speed, velocity, time, temperature, density, force, work done, energy, volume, area, age. Okay, so these are different quantities. So figure it out which ones are scalars and which ones are vectors. Right? So a couple of things which I would like to say is like temperature, right? So temperature, you know, these days temperature may go below zero, right, in winters? Okay, so it could be negative or positive. So in case you find that it could be negative or positive, that means it's kind of vector, right? We are giving some direction to it, okay? So that is how it can help you to figure out whether it is a scalar or a vector. So all these quantities are well known to you. So figure out which are scalars and which are vectors. Correct? If you have any difficulty, let me know. Put your suggestions and I'll get back to you. Thanks and all the best.